Good morning, welcome to Body Break. I'm Anwar Animesh, personal trainer at Well Gym. Today I'll be doing a home exercise catered for people who um, are beginners or slightly overweight, even obese. So you can still work out hard um, using your body weight uh, or very small weights and just stay in one place. Um, I'm going to use a chair for most of the exercises. Uh, just make sure it's stable. I'm going to start with bringing back the leg you want to keep the leg flexed, the foot flexed, lean forward slightly. You can lean a little bit more and you feel the exercise more. This works the butt. Just keep the other knee, the support knee slightly um, bent. You can also do some leg circles. Keep breathing and reverse the circle. You need to contract your abs as well for this to keep your balance even though you have one foot on the floor. You can also bend the knee and bring it to chest, like a glute raise. When you bring it to chest, you feel a little bit the abs working as well. Keep your foot flexed towards the ceiling. And then you can stop here, keep the thigh parallel with the floor and bring the leg in and out, like a hamstring curl. You wanna flex that foot, you wanna really contract the muscle. If not, you might not feel anything, so don't point the toe. Okay, obviously you're going to do this on both sides. Here you can also do some calf raises. I'm just going to show on one side, I'm limited by time. Uh, obviously you wanna do on both. Um, you can try 10 to 15 reps, see how you feel. Um, if you're heavier, you can stay with both feet down. You can have the feet parallel. So go about 15 reps. You can also have the toes out. So that works slightly different, the inner part of your calves and heels in, or toes in and heels out and that works the outer part of your calves. Now, if you feel comfortable, you can try on a single leg. Start with the weakest leg first. Same thing, you can go straight, you can have the leg slightly in an angle, or out, or in. Now for the quads, you can have a seat. You're going to think you're going to relax, but you're actually going to feel the workout. I'm going to show you on the other leg, foot flexed, and you're going to bring the leg all the way up and down. Have a nice upright posture. Again, you can go for 10 reps. Then bring the toe out, and you feel more the inner part working. Especially if you have any knee injuries or any knee problems. This will be pretty safe, no added weight, you don't bend the knee. And now I'm bringing the toe in again, you can go for 10 reps. Trust me, you're going to feel them. You can also do leg circles. The bigger the circle, the more you work. Now if you lean back, you're going to feel the abs a little bit working as well. And reverse the circle. Obviously you want to do the same thing on both legs, I'm just, I just switch legs. Now from here, you can use some really small weights. If you don't have that, you can even improvise. Like I even have three pounds from diving weights or you can get some small bottles of water, anything you have handy, maybe between three pounds, five pounds max. I'm going to sit upright and do some shoulder presses. So you bring the arm and forearm at 90 degrees and extend them overhead. Exhale when you push up. Again, you can do 15 reps. If it's too much, you can do maybe less. Elbows by your side, I'm going to work the biceps. So you can keep the arms straight for now. Try not to move your elbows. So the elbows are always locked by your body when you work the biceps or triceps. Doesn't matter the angle you're using. I'm just going straight for now. Um, I'm also going to do some um, triceps. So you can lean forward. You can keep the arms, palms up it's a little bit harder. Try again to isolate and not move the elbow. So the movement is the shoulder stays still, you just bend the elbow. Other variations for shoulder presses, you can have the hands facing each other and this is a little bit easier. If you have any shoulder problems, you can stick to that. Or if the weight is too heavy, you can stick to that. For biceps, you can keep the elbows again by your side and bring the arms in an angle. So that works slightly differently. It's a little bit hard. So maybe you can get a lighter weight if it's too much or do less reps. 
for triceps, you can just change the position of the arms. Again, lean forward, your um, arm will be parallel with the floor, and you can have the, the weights facing you. And again, exhale, and push away. You can also do a reverse shoulder press, palms facing you, you're going to feel the triceps working as well for the next exercise. And if you work outside, it will be much more harder than inside. And this time you can bring the hands together as if you do a concentration curl. So elbows by your side. Again, this works slightly differently. The biceps are a little bit harder than the arms, just straight forward. And for triceps, just to change, you can do another kick back, or you can also have the arms overhead and just bend the elbows. Elbows are towards the ceiling or towards the sky. And this is an overhead tricep extension. Now for abs and lower back, just going to do basic, some basic exercises, leaning down. So you can keep the feet on the ground if you have a hard time coming up and so on. So you can just reach in between the knees. You're going to contract your abs. And so small pulses. If you keep between 15 and 20, 25 reps, you're going to feel them. You don't need a lot of weight or anything like that. You're going to feel the rectus abdominis, so the upper part. Now, for the lower part, and actually for the, for the obliques, you can bring one leg across. Again, if it's too hard to have the leg up. And one hand by your ear, one hand on the floor, and just twist. Again, you're going to go for 15 reps on each side. If you can go for more, you build up your resistance. Even though it's, it's easy, it's really hot out here. Okay, for lower back, you can have the feet on the ground and just do a bridge. To work it harder, you can have the heels closer to your buttocks and just push your hips higher. If you don't have any knee problems, you also feel a nice stretch in the quads. I don't know, we have a lot of flies now. Outdoors. And then, have a nice stretch. So, thank you for watching me. That was a light workout. I highly recommend to try it. If, you, if you're not used to train, just give it a try at home if you don't have access to a gym yet. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, please visit my website www.manuelafi.com. Have a nice day.